Hello everybody. Today we're doing something a little different. We're not talking about the latest smartphone or noise cancelling headphones, but trust me, this is just as cool. We're diving deep into the world of futuristic vehicles being developed right now in China. We're talking flying cars, drone taxis and even SUVs that can swim. Yeah, you heard that right. Swim. From sky trains to transforming motorbikes, these innovations are pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. We're going to break down each vehicle, its tech and what it means for the future of transportation. So buckle up because things are about to get really interesting. First up, we're taking a look at something that seems straight out of a sci-fi movie, China's Skytrain. Now, it doesn't technically fly, but it's about as close as you can get without leaving the ground. Imagine a train car suspended from an elevated monorail gliding through the air. This thing is seriously impressive. It stretches over 10 kilometers long, reaches speeds up to 60 kilometers per hour, and can carry over 200 passengers at a time. That's like a whole Boeing 737 just cruising above the streets. And get this, it only took seven months to build the entire track. That's faster than some subway lines take to even break ground. Plus, the cost is comparable to traditional train systems. Talk about efficiency, but the benefits go beyond just speed and cost. Think about it, no more traffic jams, fewer accidents, and it frees up valuable ground space for pedestrians and green spaces. Now you might be thinking, okay, but how safe can a train hanging in the air really be? That's a fair question, and the engineers have thought of that too. The SkyTrain is built with multiple layers of redundancy and safety features. It's powered by electricity, so it's incredibly energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Plus, it's designed to operate in all kinds of weather conditions, from scorching heat to heavy rain. They've even tested it in wind tunnels to make sure it can handle strong gusts. This is more than just a cool concept. It's a glimpse into the future of urban transportation. As cities become more crowded, we need innovative solutions like the SkyTrain to keep people moving efficiently and sustainably. So, yeah, the future of transportation might be up in the air, and honestly, I'm here for it. All right, moving on from trains in the sky, let's talk about cars that can swim. You heard me right, swim. This is the BYD Yangwang U8, and it's not the average SUV. This thing is a beast, priced at around $50,000. It's packed with next-level tech and a sleek design. It has a hydraulic system that adjusts the ride height and a tank turn feature for 360-degree rotation. But the real party trick, this SUV can float. It can ford up to one meter of water. The off-road edition can tackle 1.4 meters. Perfect for emergencies, not joy rides. So how does it work? When the U8 senses it's entering deep water, the emergency float mode kicks in. The engine shuts off, windows and doors seal tight, the air conditioning switches to internal circulation and the sunroof even pops open to act as an emergency exit. And get this, it can stay afloat for a good 30 minutes, even moving at a slow and steady three kilometers per hour. That's enough time to navigate out of most tricky situations. Of course, after any water excursions, you'll need to take the U8 to a service center for a checkup. Water and electronics don't always mix well, you know. The BYD Yangwang U8 is a perfect example of how technology is pushing the boundaries of what cars can do. It's not just about getting from point A to point B anymore. It's about being prepared for anything. All right, so you're probably thinking an electric sedan, that's not exactly groundbreaking. And you'd be right for the most part, but NIO threw in a little party trick with the ET9 that's just different. This thing can shake snow off its roof like a wet dog. I'm serious, this isn't some fancy heated system either. NIO's using the car's chassis system and hydraulic suspension to literally wiggle the snow off. They did a whole demo and everything. It's actually pretty effective. Now, the disclaimer here is that you'll want to make sure your coffee cups are secure before you hit the snow shaking button. Otherwise, you might end up with a bigger mess inside than you had on the roof. But, hey, it's a small price to pay for a car that can do that.
But the ET9 isn't just about gimmicks. This is a serious luxury EV. Under the hood, you've got a dual motor setup pushing out a respectable 77 horsepower. More importantly though, it's packing a 120 kW battery. And that battery translates to some serious range. We're talking 255 kilometers on just a five minute charge. That's right, five minutes. That's faster than it takes me to grab a coffee sometimes. Of course, all this tech and luxury doesn't come cheap. The ET9 will set you back around $110,000. But if you're looking for a head-turning EV that's packed with innovation, the ET9 is definitely worth a look. All right, let's talk flying taxis. No, seriously, the Ehong 216S is here and it's looking to change the way we think about urban transportation. This thing is basically a giant drone designed to carry passengers. Developed by Ehong, the 216S can carry two passengers and is powered by eight pairs of rotors. That's right, eight. So you know this thing is going to be stable in the air, plus it's all electric, so it's quiet and environmentally friendly. Now I know what you're thinking, is it safe? And that's a valid concern, but Ehong has thought of that. The 216S has a fully autonomous flight control system, so it takes off, navigates and lands all on its own. But there's more. The Ehong 216S also has some serious safety features built in. If a rotor fails, the drone can still fly and land safely, no dropping out of the sky here. And with a top speed of 130 kilometers per hour and a ceiling of 3,000 meters, this thing can cover some serious ground, or should I say, air. The idea of hopping into a drone taxi to beat rush hour traffic is definitely appealing. And while we're still in the early stages of this technology, the Ehong 216S gives us a glimpse into what the future of urban air mobility could look like. GAAC presents Gove. A car, a plane, it's both. GAC's Gov is a flying car you can own. It's straight out of a sci-fi movie, a car and a plane in one. The Gove is a single-seater pod on a four-wheel chassis. The top part is a detachable copter. The transition between driving and flying is seamless. The Gove is completely autonomous. Set your destination on the tablet interface. It takes care of the rest. The Gove flies to a charging station when low on battery. No more waiting around to juice up. The Gove merges driving with flying. It's a glimpse into the future of personal transportation. Now, I know what you're thinking. What about charging? Well, GAC has thought of that too. The Gove is smart enough to fly itself to a charging station when it's running low on battery. So no more waiting around for your flying car to juice up. The Gove really is a game changer. It merges the convenience of driving with the freedom of flying. And while it's still in its early stages, it gives us a glimpse into a future where personal transportation is taken to a whole new level. Chapter 7, X-Peng X3. Taking off in car mode, X-Peng is taking things to another level with the X3. This prototype weighs almost two tons and is built to fly. The X3 has a sleek, futuristic sports car look. The real magic happens in flight mode. It uses an eight rotor system for vertical takeoff. It's like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. X-Peng gives you the option to pilot it yourself. Now let's talk performance. The X3 can hit a top speed of around 80 miles per hour in the air, which might not sound super fast compared to some planes, but remember this is designed for urban environments. Plus, it can stay airborne for about 35 minutes, which is more than enough time to navigate through city traffic or even take a short trip. One of the things that impresses me about the X3 is the attention to detail. X-Pung has thought about the practical aspects of owning a flying car, for example, the ground module can actually recharge the air module, so you don't have to worry about finding special charging stations or anything like that. And the cabin is designed to be comfortable and familiar, with a steering wheel and gear lever for flight control. You've even got a panoramic view, which is a pretty sweet bonus.
Shifting gears now, let's talk about a VTOL aircraft with a very specific purpose, the Jump Aero JA-1. This thing is built for speed, efficiency, and most importantly, saving lives. It's designed for emergency response, and it has the potential to revolutionize how we handle critical situations. One of the things that makes the JA-1 so well suited for emergency response is its electric propulsion system. This means it's incredibly quiet and produces zero emissions, which is crucial when you need to operate in urban areas or sensitive environments. Plus, electric power means instant torque and rapid acceleration, allowing the JA-1 to get to where it needs to be as quickly as possible. We're talking about a potential game changer for medical evacuations, search and rescue operations, and disaster relief efforts. Now, the JA-1 might look small and compact, but don't let that fool you. This thing is packed with advanced technology and designed for maximum performance. It features a sleek aerodynamic design that minimizes drag and maximizes efficiency, allowing it to reach impressive speeds. And, despite its size, the JA-1 is incredibly robust and built to withstand demanding conditions. Jump Aero has prioritized safety with the JA-1, Equipping it with state-of-the-art control systems and multiple redundancies, the intuitive controls make it easy for pilots to operate even in high-pressure situations. But it's not just about the tech. The JA-1 is designed with the pilot in mind. The cockpit is ergonomically designed for comfort and optimal visibility, ensuring that the pilot has everything they need to focus on the mission at hand. From skytrains to flying cars, we've explored some seriously next-level transportation tech in this video. It's clear that the future of mobility is going to look a lot different from today, with innovation pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. So what did you guys think? Which of these vehicles are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates on the latest in tech and innovation. See you in the next one.